I'm Greg Fossilman Raymer. If the middle stages of the tournament are where you can begin applying pressure to your opponents, then the money bubble is where you can apply maximum pressure. Why? Because no one wants to be the bubble boy. And at this stage, most players are just looking to get into the money. As we mentioned earlier, while making the money is nice, it's not your primary goal. You're playing for maximum expected value. And this means that with rare exceptions, you shouldn't even think about the bubble. But what are those exceptions? The first is when you're playing a satellite, and every player who makes the money wins the same prize. In this case, it doesn't matter if you finish the tournament with one chip or a million. The result's the same. The second scenario where playing just to survive the bubble is acceptable is when you are already so short stacked that even if you were to double up before the bubble, you're still unlikely to move up to the top paying positions. In this case, playing to just make the money is your best bet. Now, assuming that you have a good sized stack, then playing for the win is the right thing to do, especially when your opponents are playing timid. On the bubble, players who are just looking to cash are very likely to fold to your aggressive play, even if they're holding a pretty strong hand. This means that you should be opening up your game here and putting as much pressure as possible on all your opponents because they are unlikely to play back at you with anything less than a huge hand. Think about your own experiences where you have had one maniac player at your table when it's the bubble. How often have you found yourself thinking, I should call with this hand, but I don't want to get unlucky and put my tournament at risk. If you're honest, you'll admit that you've probably done it more than you should. If you fold the likely best hand because you're just worried about going broke, then that's the definition of sacrificing the win for the cash, which is the opposite of what a good player should be doing on the bubble. So when the bubble arrives, don't be scared to play your hands aggressively, especially in position. Remember, playing for the win may mean that you miss out on a few min caches, but when you do get in the money, you're more likely to score a bigger payday than if you had just played to merely survive the bubble.